In fact, uh, my country has not been spared from trafficking of human beings and international criminality. Our country is both a transit and a target destination country for trafficking victims. This national action plan is targeting four main pillars. To, first, to increase public awareness and information in order to highlight that human trafficking is a problem that cannot be tolerated. By raising awareness amongst our, the specialists, we want to provide them with better information and greater skills to fight this form of crime. Second, to identify, to intensify the prosecution of traffickers as a credible deterrent against human trafficking and to underscore that the exploitation of human beings does not pay off. To improve the identification, this was already said, of, of victims and provide better assistance and greater protection in order to help alleviate the consequences of this injustice. This should help them also to assert their rights and to facilitate their return into society. Last but not least, to strengthen international cooperation with partners abroad, but also the partnerships inside of Switzerland with actors and partners. And I should say at the outset that I do recognize uh, that Bulgaria and the UK have some important differences in how human trafficking presents. The UK is primarily a destination state as opposed to a source or transit country. However, I think there are some real common questions that do arise when a country looks to develop an overarching strategy and much guidance and expertise at the EU level to draw from. So in these short remarks, I want to offer observations on four areas. Firstly, on the question of why you need a strategy at all. Secondly, on the process that you adopt to develop that strategy including your tactics for consultation. Thirdly, how you go about prioritising action. Fourthly, the governance and the oversight mechanisms you need to put in place. So firstly, the first question I wanted to address was really the fundamental one of why you need a strategy at all. Why not just have a plan? For some background context, the first strategy that the UK developed in 2006 was not really a strategy, but it was more of an action plan following a public consultation where we asked a number of targeted questions about where the UK should put its effort. Since 2007, however, our approach has changed, and in 2011 we had a more traditional type strategy with an annex of actions, but more recently, at the end of 2014, we published our latest modern slavery strategy, which has activity integrated under four main headings of action. And these won't translate very well into Bulgarian, but we use the 4P framework, which is one we've used for countering terrorist activity in the UK. And that's pursue, prevent, protect, and prepare. So what did we learn from the UK experience of this process? From my perspective, we started off by having this series of activities, an action plan, and that was very useful in putting some structure around the myriad of activities that were going on across the UK in the many different agencies engaged. But it didn't help us with defining our overall aim and objective. And we eventually recalibrated our approach into a strategy with actions flowing from it. I think the difference between a plan and a strategy is an important one and worth reflecting on. A plan is usually a number of actions taken to accomplish a goal. It tackles questions like how, when, where, who and what, and it's a good thing to have. In fact, it's vital to the success of any effort. But developing a plan should not be your first step in developing a strategy. A strategy is bigger than a plan. It tackles the question of why. 
In a perfect world, it always comes first and shapes the details of the plan. And it contains that overarching wisdom that coordinates all the plans to reach the goal. And certainly this was our experience. And my advice to you would be, don't try to fit your action plan uh, into your strategy. Rather, develop the right strategy and create the appropriate plans around the strategy.